Hey guys, hey, I thought today we'd do a little top water painting. I got a popper. I really like this. It has slits in the mouth and in the gill, so it really pushes the water through, makes a lot more noise on the surface. You know, this time of year, there's a lot of small, little, largemouth bass swimming around out there. So I thought we'd go ahead and paint this in a bass pattern. Stick with me. All right, our first step. We got all set up here in the helping hands to hang on to it. Going to use some Createx opaque white and give us that good white base coat we need. In this situation, don't forget inside the mouth. Now, this time around, I'm going to be really sure I get a good base coat of the opaque white on the belly. And the main reason is that's going to be our belly color. So, I want to make real sure get a good coating on there. A lot of times I might come back with that pearlized white, but this time we're just going to leave it white. All right, there we go. That's all we need for that. Time to clean up and move on. Well, we're ready to move on to some color. All right, as I said, we're looking for a bass pattern, make this look like a small bass. We're gonna go to Walmart Paints. I like the Walmart Paints in the fact they have so many colors I like exactly without having to bother to mix two or three colors together to get something I like. They're cheap, 50 cents a bottle. Disadvantage, the color flakes are a little bit bigger. They're not necessarily meant to try to put it through something like this. So you can give yourself some problems once in a while with plugging up or something like that. So you just have to take the bad with the good, I guess. We're going to thin it down a little. It's way too thick. So it has to be thinned. In my case, there's, there's a lot of things you can buy. I just use water. It's worked for me. I haven't really had any problem with it, so that's what we're going to go with. All right, let's get it up here. Get a little... paint in. Gonna go right down to the top. We're gonna let it go down the side, you know, so we want to leave the white belly, of course. So you see it getting a little problem there with the trying to plug on me a little bit. Sometimes you gotta back off them a little bit. There we go. Alright, that's what I want, right there. Got to that part, still got our belly in good shape. We got our light green in here. Alright, we're gonna stop for that. Let me clean up. Okay, for our next step here. Now, we're gonna go back with Walmart. Oops, I better tell you. This was palm leaf. That's the first color I used in the Walmart. I don't remember if I said that or not. Now we're going to come back with English Ivy Green. We got a darker green. And basically I just use the same cup. Mix it up just as I did before. So nothing fancy about that. We're just going to run right down the back. All right, there we go. I don't want I want to leave that lighter color on the side, but I want the dark down the back. There we go, I like that. All right, that's looking pretty good. I got my white 
We're tapering to that lighter green there. We blend it down nicely with the dark. We're leaving the mouth white. A lot of times people like to take poppers and make the inside of the mouth red, but hey, we're doing a bath, so we're leaving it white. Next step, we're gonna dry this really good before we move on to the next step. We're almost done with our bath lure here. We need one more thing we need to do. We need that black line marked on black marking on the side. So here's what I'm gonna do. I have a chunk of sponge. This was just an old sponge. I chunk, took a chunk off it. But what I really want you to notice we're going to try to get it right here where you can see it. Right along this top edge, it is real narrow. Very narrow right there. I didn't cut that. I actually picked it with my fingers. Just take a little piece of sponge and pick it off with your fingers. That way you get an irregular pattern. If you cut it with a knife, it's going to have a straight line to it. I don't want a straight line. So I'm just taking little pieces of sponge, pulling them off, and that leaves me with this. All right, let's see if that works. It was a good idea. Now let's see if it works. Oh, it's a good idea if it works. Otherwise, it was just another one of those ideas of mine that mm, didn't quite pan out. Opaque black createx. We're just going to dip the edge of the sponge in that. We're going to touch it to the towel a little bit because I don't want too much paint on it. And then we're just going to touch the side of the lure, touch it again, touch it again. Touch it again, and touch it, and touch it. And there's our markings on the side of our lure. Now it's got it. That way you get an irregular marking. Rinse that out, you'll be ready to go again. All right, eyes. And in this case, it's got these oval eyes. It's got a special set of eyes for it. So that'll be our next stop. We'll get that put in. Ready to go from there. Okay, for our eyes. Now, as I've said before in earlier videos, I like a little tacky glue to go along with the stickiness that's on the eye to begin with. You don't need to get carried away with it, but just a little bit doesn't hurt matters any. Now, as I said, this has the oval eyes. This lure comes with special eyes. And we're just going to take a toothpick and set them right into place. There we go. Eyes intact. Time for the top coat. All right. On the top coat, I didn't, I figured I wasn't going to go through this entire thing. You guys have seen it in others. But I want to make out some points. If you got one like it, don't get too much up here into the gill plates. You want that water and you got holes in the mouth. Don't get too much top coat in there because you want to make sure that water can pass through there. All right. So be a little cautious of that. Get it covered everywhere. There you got it. All right, I'm going to get some wire hooks. I'm going to hang this up so I get it hung up. I'm going to hang it from the nose so it hangs like this. Well, you know what? You could probably even do it like that way and get the job done. It'll all work down that way, but we'll have to unhook this. There we go. Now, everything will run down here. I could probably put a wire down in there, and that'll catch everything. Well, that's it. Well, there we go, guys. There's my top water popper in a bass pattern. You know, I've mentioned before, when I'm doing top water, I always like really dark colors. I always think that works a little better, but I don't know. Looking at this, I would think it's got to catch some fish. Hey, thanks for sticking with me. Subscribe to the channel if you would. Hope to see you again real soon.